I just went in and put another one in. I want to make your knot underneath. I made another one in and what I did was cut the last one only. That stays there. Too top. Hmm. It stays within. Yeah. If I did, and remember when I brought this one on the top and I put a loop into it? Mm -hmm. Now, it's on the side. Now, you don't see that tail. Right. You just see a loop. Should I not do this double at the beginning and the end? I'll show you what would happen. When we do a flower petal, uh, we need to change colors between four and eight times to make it look the perception of depth. That a lot of colors are involved. Right. So I need to cut my wool uh, a lot of times into that small area. Should I not do it, and I'll show you if I did it wrong, what would happen if I didn't go back to the same hole and do a loop and leave a tail on the top. And I would not do a double one at the end, and I would just cut it level with the others. Cut this one level with the others. Now, two holes with no loops. I'm going to use another six colors, 12 other holes with no loops. That would be like 15, 16 holes that would have no loops within an inch. Mm -hmm. That's not a good quality wool. Our rug, all our rug mostly should all be loops and no tails. They should not have a tail fuzz, but they should have a loop. And that is makes it for a much tighter finish. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's a good quality rug. Now, when I get to the end of it, now my last row, it's so hard to do, it's because I've squished all of them, and my last row, I, I can't see it. I need to pull it. Now, the last one, I don't need to go double up because it's so tight that you won't see where the last tail is mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. so tight, tight. Mm -hmm.